Hello guys, so welcome back to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends, we're diving back into Call of Duty Mobile Zombies my friends, back on Shinonuma. And today we're going to be taking on the Hardcore Raid. We're not just going to complete it as normal, go for the rounds and beat the boss. We're actually going to be doing the main easter egg for this map where you have to do a certain amount of different sort of steps. And then once you've done the steps, you'll have a completely different boss fight when you get to round 12. Uh, well, when you complete round 12, I should say. Uh, but the Cetas, we're going to be trying to attempt this solo. I was thinking of doing it with a team, or do it with randoms, but I thought, do you know what? I'm going to push myself that little bit extra more. We're going to try and do it solo, okay? So, the moment that we all need. So what we need to do for this one, guys, there's like a number of steps that we need to do. We don't need to do all the mini side easter eggs, like, you know, collecting the teddy bears or anything. We need to mainly... Um, do these little steps. There is a fairly easy, like, easy easter egg to do. It's just one of them things where it is time consuming. And you also have to take into consideration as well. The clock is ticking and we don't have all the time in the world to do this. So we have a certain amount of time before like obviously the game ends. So I want to try and speed through this as quickly as I can and also get into the boss fight and take the boss down. I've heard the boss is really tricky to take down on solo. And a lot of people like do recommend like doing it with a team, but you know what I mean, boys. Here on this channel, we don't need to just do it with a team. We could we could do it solo, okay? I know from my first ever attempt at zombies on this game, um, I did play with randoms and we did take on the normal raid. And I was like, do you know what? It's time for the hardcore raid. And I was thinking, well, I need to learn the steps of the Easter egg. I knew bits of them off by art, and I was like, right, I need to just fully recap myself with the Easter egg on exactly what I need to do, so I know exactly how this all has to work out. And then I was like, right, I'm ready. You know what I mean? I'm just ready. So what we need to do, we need to find these cog things. All right, that's one of them. And they are in like random different locations near the spawn. So I need to make sure you always get two of them, okay? They are like random locations by the spawn. So when you're looking around in the area, they may not be in exactly the same place where I've just found mine, but they are nearby them sort of areas, okay? Right, so what we need to do now, we need to repair this. That's one out to two, and then we'll do it again. Right, now we can activate it, boys. And what it's going to do is going to take us to the underground area of Zetsubo Noshima. Right. When you're in this area, you need to take a left. And go into this room where I am right now. Uh, we need to read this note. Obviously, if you want to read through that yourself, guys, all you have to do is pause the video. You can read it for yourself. Um, and we now we need to shoot these plants, like these like plant capsule things, in a corresponding order. They're always random, so it's like a different order every single time you do it. But you'll know if you've done it correctly, because if you shoot the plant and it's not done correctly, the plant will just respawn. But if you've done it correctly, the, the plant will stay dead and it will just disappear. And then you have to keep this step going, like keep doing it until all the plants have disappeared. But you'll hear a noise when you know you've done it correctly, so I'm going to show you guys once I find the first one. Right, with that noise that you just heard, that's the first one done. But like I said, this is all random in this area, so it would be like a random different order. Okay, so it's not that one. I do apologize as well if it seems like I'm just, like, constantly talking and just yabbling on. I see I'm really am tired, guys. I've literally had only a couple hours sleep, and I've got to go to work soon. So, I've kind of, like, shot myself in the foot a little bit. You know what I mean? I should have really had a good night kit. But I've been working on so much, like, different content recently. I've kind of lost out on a lot of sleep. So, if I do look like absolute crap on my uh, face cam, I really do apologize, okay? But I'm doing it for you guys, okay? I'm, I'm doing all these videos for you guys because I want to keep giving you content. Obviously, when you shot the plants, you interact with the machine like you just seen me do. And now what happens is we need to get ourselves over to, well, get past round 12. Come on. So 
So if you notice as well at the top of the screen, the top center of the screen, you'll notice that we don't have the uh, abomination boss no more. We've got the uh, Jobo, Joboko, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, and this only happens like on hardcore, on the hardcore raid when you have done them following steps that I've just done. So just make sure you do that guys. And then all you need to do now is make your way through the rounds as quickly as possible. And then you get into the boss fight. And then the boss fight, I think you run, have around about 10 minutes to defeat the boss. And then, if you've done that, you've beaten it, okay? You've done the easter egg. So, we're going to try and do it, boys. Just need to make sure I get all my perks and stuff. Because once you're in the boss fight, you can't leave the boss fight. Unless, of course, you die, so... I need to... Make sure that I've got all my perks. I've got all my buffs and stuff that I need. And make sure I'm all geared up for the boss fight. I do recommend, like, there's a good selection of weapons. I do recommend when you're going into the, any of the boss fights, whether it's the Abomination or the Jaboko. Um, I do reckon things, I, I do recommend things like the Ray Gun, um, the RPD and stuff like that, guys. Or any LMG that you can get your hands on. I see it as, I do recommend it. Because you're going to need, like, some really powerful weapons when it comes to it. You do get unlimited ammo in case you've not been inside of a boss fight yet on this game. Um, you do get, obviously, like I said, you do get unlimited ammo. But, Aceta's powerful weapons is the main key. I would recommend a ray gun, though. There is, like, a wonder weapon that you can get off the store as well that you can purchase. Um, if you got access to that and you can afford to, obviously, purchase it, then I recommend that as well because I've seen it absolutely melt bosses before. But, Aceta's, I'm just going to be using normal weapons, okay? Because at the end of the day, I've, I've got a lot of time. I just want to enjoy this and make a good, long, interesting video for you guys. So, right, just bear with me. just need to get out of this area. Keep my distance from these zombies. Right, I need some ammo, boys. I need to get out of here, get some ammo quickly. Because last thing I want is being trapped in a corner with no ammunition and no way to defend myself. Right. Just taking it nice and easy, boys. We're round 4 out of 12, which I'm glad. I'm glad in a way that they have these sorts of raids on the here, but I feel like. I don't know. I feel like I need more maps because there's only so much of this map that you can play before you, you kind of start getting bored of it. But for me at the moment, I, I've always been a fan of Shane Numa, and I see it as. I've always thought he's a great iconic map from Call of Duty World at War. So it's one of them. I do like it, but I want more maps, you know what I mean? I've seen different builds of this game before in the past when people have played like a beta of it and stuff. And I see it as people playing like um, transit and stuff. And I'm thinking, I really want to play. So I'm hoping moving forward in the future, whether it's every season or every now and then, they add it in as like a limited time mode, sort of like beta phase for a map. I'm hoping that they're going to add more maps in and just just so we can go and do loads more cool content on this game because moving forward, Call of Duty Mobile will be a big asset on this channel. Especially alongside like Call of Duty Modern Warfare and stuff and future Call of Duty titles. I see because I'm still going to be supporting this game because I really love it. Like I log on every day, I do my contracts, I really enjoy it. It's just, it feels so good and feels so rewarding playing this game. And it's just a really nice factor to it. I know it's a mobile game and a lot of people are like, well, why do you spend so much time playing a mobile game? I even get it when I'm at work off people. They're like, why do you spend so much time playing a mobile game? Why don't you just play a console game or a PC game? But it's just this game, guys. It's just, I find it so much fun. It's like a phone version of Call of Duty Online. You know what I mean? Right, so we've got Jug now. Rolling in them perks, boys. You know what I mean? You can gather up to, like, I think it's seven perks. Oh, jeez. Right. We've got, um, so obviously, we've got the Speed Girl. We've got Electric Cherry. We've got the Juggernaug. I do need to get more perks. I want to try and get all my perks if I can before we jump into the boss fight. These dogs as well are absolutely annoying. They've got, like, they've got ridiculous health. They can easily take you down. But you just need to be really careful. Keep your distance. And just take them down whilst constantly keep moving, you know what I mean? Don't trap yourself in a corner or anything. So if you do that, you're just going to get absolutely destroyed. Yeah, man. Hmm. 
Mm. Right, got my maximum ammo. Right, let's take a spin on the box. I need something good. Come on. Okay. Got the uh, M4. Ooh, the RPD. Nice. RPD will come really good for boss fights. And obviously as well, if you'd like me to uh, play the Endless Survival mode, where you can go for as many waves as you possibly can, uh, before the timer runs out, then or before you end up dying, I see it as the Survival mode, the Endless Survival mode, I see it as, I could do that as a separate video on the channel at some point in the near future if you would like to see it. And we can see how far we get, and, you know, try to go for a really good high round. Uh, the highest I've seen anyone do on it is round 50. I've not seen anyone get any higher than 50, but if you have... Or you got a really good high round run that you've done. Let me know how far and how high you got on the rounds, guys. Be truthful. I don't want to hear people saying that you got to round 200-odd. You know what I mean? But let me know what's the highest round that you got to on COD Mobile Zombies on this map. I know a couple of my buddies and stuff, they got to round 30. Some got to 25. But... If you want me to go for a high round run on the channel, then what we're going to do is just give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And also let me know if you would like to see it, okay? And I'll get around to giving you more videos on this. Like, I will be doing, like, um, tutorials and stuff where you could find things on the maps and stuff. Because I feel like it's something I could do on this game. Not just doing the Easter egg or the raids or anything. If it says that you would like me to do, like, separate tutorials on how to do the mini side quests that you can do within this. Like, the teddy bears, where the locations are for them and stuff. If you'd like to see that sort of thing, then let me know, guys. If you'd like me to do glitches as well. Like, if you want some, like, tips and cool glitches that you can get into to go for high rounds and stuff. And things that you can do with your friends. Like, obviously, I don't want to get in trouble if I showcase glitches and stuff. But... If you tell you'd like me to do like glitch videos where I can obviously give you guys some really cool uh, methods on how to get to high rounds or get out the map and stuff, then don't get me don't get me wrong. I know quite a few of them already, so if you want to see them, let me know, and I can make separate videos on them showing you how to do them. And hopefully that the uh, developers don't end up like uh, patching them at some point in the future, which I'm pretty sure they will. This weapon, though, is just absolutely insane. It's really good for boss fights. I just wish there was a pack-a-punch as well on this, because I've noticed that there isn't. But if there is one, then even I don't know about it yet, like, where it is. But I see it is. I really wish that they added, like, a pack-a-punch machine, though, because it would just be good to be able to, like, power your weapons up even more. But all these buffs and stuff, I have certain buffs I like to use... I just want to try and max him out as much as I can before we jump into the boss fights. Because we need to make sure we're all geared up and ready. I do need to get some more perks as well if I get the opportunity to. Especially double tap or stamina up. Or even dead shot daiquiri. Easy boys. Right, I need to keep moving now. Go stay out the water as well. If you do go in the water, it's going to slow you down. So just keep jumping in the water and keep moving in the direction where you're trying to go to. Just so the zombies don't just like catch up with you and take you down easily. Obviously, as well, you got the coin machines as well, which give you... They're kind of like gobble gums. They give you, like, unique little abilities that you can use. But I feel like they need to add more of them in the game. Or give us, like, an option where we can allot them for zombies. And then you can select which ones you want to use. Or you can earn them by playing zombies over time. Like, maybe, like, an in-game currency or something. I think that would be a really cool feature. Kind of like how you have with gobble gums. Like, in Black Ops 3 and, obviously, Black Ops 4 with the elixirs. Because it's then, or even with buffs as well, if you could have like some really cool, unique buffs that you can earn. Like through completing things and completing challenges and stuff, you can unlock them. Like I think that would be a really, really cool little feature. But 
I think the only thing in zombies on this that I would like to see in the future is I would like the timer to go. I can understand with it being a mobile game that, you know, there's a timer. You know what I mean? Because obviously people's batteries on the phones and stuff, but the time is really annoying. I'm not going to lie. On the raid modes themselves, I'm happy with the timer. I don't mind it. But when you're playing endless survival and stuff, they need to take the timer off. Because you should be able to have the freedom to basically go as far as you possibly can. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of content creators and a lot of players out there that would probably go to like round a million on this game. If they had the time to do it. You know what I mean? I've seen like world records that people have done in the past and old Call of Duty titles on consoles and stuff. And there's people who use mad glitches and stuff got to like round 900 and stuff. Which I think is insane. But... If they took the timer off, I think a lot of people would be happy. Also, if they had a pack-a-punch machine as well, because, like I said, I would like to be able to pack-a-punch my weapons. And if you could unlock, like, really cool stuff within zombies as well, um, a lot more XPs and stuff, and, you know, stuff like that, I think it would be really cool. Like, a lot of double XP tokens and stuff that you can use to use for your weapons to unlock attachments a lot more quicker and stuff, and... I know all your main progression that you do in Zombies goes towards your, like, natural player progression that you use for multiplayer and Battle Royale, which is good. But they should have, like, a, um, like, how you got the rank match and obviously, Battle Royale. They've got, like, this ranking feature where you got, like, Veteran and stuff and Elite. I think they should have that for Zombies and give you some really cool, like, rewards for it. I don't know. Maybe if you get to Master, you can unlock special character skins and... If you get to the leak, you get some cool camos, and if you get to veteran, you can, I don't know, maybe uh, some cool camos for your knife and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool if they ever did that in the future. But let me know down below in the comment section what would you like to see moving forward for this game. When it comes to zombies, let me know if you have any cool ideas or not. Alright, we need to keep moving. Keep an eye on the time as well, guys. Got 23 minutes left. Well, just under 23 minutes. Right, come on. Easy, boys. As long as we've got this RPD, we can absolutely annihilate these guys. Right, so I've got four perks so far. I could do with some more perks, but also a better guns as well. Because I might need to trade out the uh, M4 at some point. I'm just going to grab myself uh, ooh, grenades here. We do need a uh, quick revive as well. Oh, damn it. I've got Brutus and I've got dogs after me. <laughs> nice. I do like the variety of different sorts of enemies that you can get in this map as well. Like Brutus, you got dogs, you got normal zombies, you got the uh, Av Avradadros, I think that's how you pronounce them. I really, really am terrible at pronouncing things, especially when I'm tired. But you got like different types of zombies, which I think is really cool. You've got napalm zombies as well. Careful, careful, careful. Absolutely obliterating yourself. Look at this. Goodbye, Brutus. Let's wait for this trap stop, which is good. Because this is when you don't want to be walking into when the trap's going. I think there's like, a lot of people have said that you can crawl under it, cut like proper crawl underneath it, but I don't want to run the risk in case you can't actually do it and then I end up dying. So, Cetus, if you can, then let me know down below in the comment section if you guys know. Or if you can't, then I don't want to risk it. <laughs> Alright, come on. Keep the 
zombies a distance. So yeah, hopefully you're all enjoying the video so far guys. If you are then give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Make sure to turn on the post notification icon and notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future. Like I said before throughout the video, I do apologize if I look absolutely dead on my on the face cam. I'm literally I'm really tired. I've got to go to work later on. And I've just been working on so much content recently and prepping out a lot of future videos for you guys. So it's like I'm feeling it today, okay? I really am feeling it. But it's not going to stop me. I want to make some more videos, go to work, and then come home. And I'm just going to have a really good sleep because I really, really do need it. I've been pushing myself even more and more and more recently because I just want to keep giving you guys content. You know I mean, I've got a lot of content that I'm, you know, I'm dying to share with you all. A lot more Realm Royale, a lot more COD stuff, a lot, lot more videos from my second channel. And Asita's, you know, I've been a really busy guy. Yeah, I'm taking down all these zombies right now. Move, 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 move. Right, insta kill. What the hell? I think I collected the insta kill. That's absolute BS. You know what I mean? Absolute BS. Right, we need some more perks, though. Right, there should be a perk machine in here. If I remember correctly. Ooh, Deadshot Daiquiri. Nice. We need double tap though. That's the only one we need now is double tap. Because you can hold up to seven perks, which I think is really good. The zombies right behind me. It just feels like my guns have become like bullet sponges. They just, I don't know. It feels like they take too much bullets just to kill them sometimes. But obviously, as you go through the rounds and stuff, it's, you know, it's meant to get harder and harder and harder. But this is why you need a pack a punch machine, okay? Got one more round to go through. Still got 16 like odd minutes left on the clock as well, so got plenty of time to do one round. At the moment, just need to make sure we're all geared up. Once you've like maxed out all your um, buffs, you can like have this like um, a buff ability where you can like level it up a little bit more, and eventually it takes it up to 10, which makes your weapons a lot more better, especially if you've got like sit the allocated buffs on that I've got on. I mean, you can take them from 5 to all the way up to 10, which is good. But it does get quite pricey, so make sure you got a lot of points if you want to be doing that sort of thing. It's like a buff upgrade that you can do. Which, if I get the opportunity, I will try and show you guys, in case you haven't got a clue what I'm on about. Absolutely dropping them right now. All right. Cheeky grenade. Nice. Right, I need to move before I get trapped in the corner. 
something we definitely do not want. zombies left. See, I don't know whether or not I should go for the final perk or not, or whether I should just leave it, because I've got a good selection of perks at the moment, but I don't know. It's just... I don't know if I need it or not. I do get wrong, double tap will be good, but then I think, well, do I need it for the boss fight, or do I reckon I should be alright without it? Do with a ray gun though. It's one one thing I really do want. Okay, got snipers. I don't need snipers. And the ray uh, and the mystery box has been moved to a different location, which kind of sucks. You know what I mean? It really does suck. So I'm trying to look for the beam in the sky, see if we can pinpoint where its location is. For some reason, I just can't see it. So. I've got no clue where that uh, mystery box has gone to. It's over here? Nope, definitely not over there. Hmm. It's probably over here then. Oh, it is! It's over here, boys. And you obviously got the perk machine over here as well. So we can try and go for a cheeky spin on the uh, mystery box. And if we can, we'll go for a perk as well. Why not? Whilst we're at it. Get the final perk, which is double tap. Now we can roll with seven perks, moving into the boss fight, which is going to be good. Got two zombies left, which is, you know, I need to take out before we can go into the boss fight. But I want to make sure I've got the right weaponry before we do it. Because if we don't, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. And Aaron Cooper isn't going to be a very happy bunny. You know what I mean? Okay, really do not need a sniper. Come on, bro. I need some better guns. No! Don't move to another location! We don't need it moving to another location. What we do need is a better guns. The RPD I'm happy with. I might need to switch out my striker. Uh, what would I switch it out for, though? I just don't know. Uh, I'm going to need something. So well, I could switch out for the AK. That's one thing I could do. Got the AK-47 I could go for, or the M16. Or something like that. Uh, ooh. No, I'll switch it for this. The BK-57. Let's go with this, boys. Oh. So hopefully you enjoyed it so far, guys. Mm. Oh. God, I'm so tired. Oh. But you might have seen um, with the rapid uploads recently, with lots of the videos I've been uploading recently for both channels, you can see that I've been really busy with video content. Do this. But this, my friends, is the Jiboku. The secret boss fight within Shinonuma, which is like a giant plant monster. If you listen to the radios around on the map, it like talks about the plight, the uh, plant monster, which is this thing. Kind of reminds me of a giant Groot. I don't know why, it just really does remind me of Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy. Like a giant hench version. Come on, bro. This thing as well has two layers of health as well. We've got the uh, yellowy orangey bar that I've got to take down first. And then we've got the red bar. So this is going to take quite a bit of time, guys. 
and he is really powerful as well. But lucky for me, I have got a lot of revive tokens as well. We got the free ones that we do get for, you know, just playing the match. And I've got my own tokens which I've saved up. So, I am going to really worry about going down as much. As long as they don't go down too much. But let me know down below in the comment section if you've beaten the hardcore raid with the secret boss and done the easter egg and everything on solo before or whether you've done it with a team, with your friends or with randoms, let me know. Come on. And if you hit that thumbs up button as well, this, that would give me enough luck just to be able to beat this boss. Okay, because I need you guys to help me with this. For every like, this gun just becomes even more powerful there, okay? <laughs> it turns into a god gun, which it is, literally. Have you seen how rapidly this weapon literally takes down the enemy's health? As you notice as well, I'm not really trying to faff around with the zombies as much. I'm mainly just focusing on the boss. But if you if you pepper the boss with the RPD, just see how much health it takes off it. The ray gun's even better. Yes, boys. Come on. Do it. You can do it. Let's keep moving before he ends up swinging at me. Keep moving. Just keep your distance when he's swinging his like fists around, guys, because he'll literally just take you straight down. Peppering him, we're peppering him. And obviously, when it goes, when it flashes like a yellow color over the number when you're attacking the enemy, it means you're doing like proper critical damage. Like you're hitting him like on a weak spot. So, see, says we want to try and get more yellow numbers popping up on the screen if we can. I think his face is the weak spot, I'm not too sure. We've got him, we've got him. But I'm, literally, I'm, literally, I'm looking forward to future maps in this game. I want to see Transit. I've got a couple of maps I would like to see, like, first. De definitely Transit, especially when they divided out the Transit in Black Ops 2 when you had Town and Farm and stuff. I really want to see them. And if I have to pick any other maps to come first, I would like to see Natcha the Totem. Just because it would be a really good small map to play on for going for high rounds and stuff. And I reckon maps like Doris or the giant version of it from Black Ops 3. I think that would be really good. And if they want to go for a big map, other than Transit, I would say either Origins... Or if they really wanted to, go for the Eisendrack because uh, the Eisendrack was a really good map on Black Ops 3. If you never played it, uh, it's basically like a uh, castle sort of themed map, and man, it was insanely good back in the day, like back in Black Ops 3. I loved doing the Easter egg and everything, and then really upgrading powerful bows and stuff. It was just, it was so good. But they can implement them sort of maps and stuff and bring them to Call of Duty Mobile. I'd ha I'll be happy with that. I'll be nearly beating him now. Come on. Really, really, really weak. We've still got five minutes left on the clock as well. it has got plenty of time, boys. Come on. We're moments away from being able to defeat this boss and beat the hardcore raid with the secret boss fight and the main easter egg, my friends. And there we go. Absolutely smashed it, boys. The Jaboko is no more. Smashed it. <laughs> Man, I'm happy with that. 
But anyways, guys, the seat is if you have enjoyed today's video and you would like to see even more Zombies content here on the channel, whether it's on Call of Duty Mobile or different Call of Duty titles, um, as Tita, just let me know down below in the comment section, okay? Maybe we could do Easter eggs and stuff, or maybe just want to see more videos on this. Let me know. I'm excited to be able to do even more videos on Call of Duty Mobile moving into the future of this game. I want to do more on the Battle Royale portion of the game, and much, much more. But, man, this game is just amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. I just wish... I had access to this game even sooner. You know what I mean? Since I've been playing this game, since I've had access, man, it, I'm just, it just makes me so happy, okay? But, anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. If you enjoyed the video, like I said, give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Send on the post notification icon, it will notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future. And as always, I'll see you again soon on another brand new video. Take care.